I'm so delighted to be going to the Council of the Federation this week because I can tell you the thing that has surprised me the most is it doesn't matter what political stripe the premiers have, every single one of them is frustrated with federal interference into their business. I would like to, for the federal government to focus on their areas of jurisdiction and do it well. How about we uh, see them address the issue of, of out of control monetary policy so that we don't have an inflation crisis any longer? How about they uh, make their commitments internationally on defense spending so that we can continue to be part of uh, a, 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 a full partner in the NATO alliance? How about they manage our, uh, our passport offices and our airports and our port system? And how about they support indigenous health so that uh, we're dealing with the opioid crisis? They've got lots on their plate in their areas of jurisdiction. They should stop trying to interfere in ours and they should start doing their job, is my view. And I think all the other premiers feel the same. So I've pushed back, I've seen Saskatchewan push back and I, I think you'll see increasingly the other provinces will push back as well. Well, I'll tell you what I noticed when the Prime Minister did his communique is he didn't push any of those three issues. And which says to me that they are open-minded and they have heard the message loud and clear that an emissions cap that is aggressive is a production cap and it's a violation of the Constitution. The same for net, net zero electricity regs that, are, that are, are, are too aggressive. Electricity is also in our constitutional jurisdiction. So here's, here's my view, is that if we are able to demonstrate in good faith that we are working towards those targets in a meaningful way, I think the courts will side with us. I hope it doesn't go to the courts, but uh, if, it, if it does, then I, I think we're going to win that one. I do always try to find areas of common ground, and I must tell you that uh, the, the, the other Trudeau, Pierre Trudeau, uh, he, he just wanted to steal our wealth. He didn't want to extinguish it. And so that's uh, the reason why I can understand why people are lack trust. The way that this current Prime Minister has acted towards our province over the last number of years has not been constructive. And so I wanted to demonstrate by meeting him partway, saying we'll align with a, a 2050 target, but he's got to meet us partway as well and do it in a way that's, that's reasonable and that works for our economy. And that's why we've formed the working group. As I said, we're going to work in good faith to try to get there, and if we don't, then uh, we're, we're just not going to do anything that is going to damage our economy or give any indication that our oil and natural gas sector is going to be phased out. We're working on reducing emissions, not reducing jobs in the energy sector. So I think this would play out. We will assert that we are going to uh, meet our targets under our emissions reduction and energy, energy development plan, and they can take us to court if they want. But I think that what will happen is we will demonstrate to the court that what we're doing is reasonable, it's in alignment with federal policy, it's in our areas of constitutional jurisdiction, and I don't think they'll have a leg to stand on, quite frankly. And that's the reason why we're taking the initiative. We're not going to allow them to tell us how we're going to manage our economy and how we're going to manage our energy.